Today I would like to talk about ice. More specifically, the ice application that comes bundled with Peppermint OS. I've been playing around with Peppermint for a while now by the recommendation of Steve's very own YouTube channel. It's a very nice and polished distribution, and I really like what they've done as far as implementing features from both XFCE and LXDE2. Very nice and lightweight distributions in their own right, but mainly I like the concept of a site-specific browser. It's like having your own web app for sites that you visit all the, all the time. And on my system, I've created site-specific browsers, or SSBs, for all my social media accounts like Twitter, Mastodon, MeWe, but also my bank, my credit cards, and you know stuff like that. And I won't be showing those off today for obvious reasons, but I will be showing how to get the ICE application working in my distro of choice, Debian. Let's get started. So here we are at the Peppermint website, and they are up to version 10 now. Uh, I believe they're using kernel 5.0.2. I believe I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I haven't checked uh, recently anyway. And But the main thing I wanted to show, show here was that they still install a 32-bit version, or they still make a 32-bit version, rather. And that is fantastic because it's such a lightweight distribution and if you have an older machine like an older desktop older laptop whatever and it's only 32-bit you can install that on an older piece of hardware and put it back to work that is that's, that's fantastic so anyway I uh, I've been playing with the 64-bit because it's in I've been playing with it in VirtualBox and it, it's been it's been really really solid uh, what I wanted to show here was just the user guide. So if you go here to the user guide, you can see that they have a download and it uh, download and install, and it'll just give you you know links to direct download or download via torrent and you know, you know how to create how to create the uh, installation media and you know things to do before installing and I believe somewhere in here they will uh, tell you how to run an MD5 checksum and everything on that to verify the download, which is just smart. Uh, highly recommend doing that when you download any distro. And come on, uh, it, it'll give you an intro an introduction to the desktop, uh, tips on how to customize the desktop. Uh, installing and removing software and site specific browser. Uh, that's the main thing I wanted to look at here was the site specific browser because I see a lot of utility in this. This seems like it would be you know fantastic to have on your system because if there are sites that you visit all the time, let's say for example, I don't know your social media accounts, your bank accounts, your uh, credit card, really anything that you visit all the time. And this will strip out all of the border around everything and just just give you the content, which is extremely nice. Let's look at that real quick on Peppermint and then, then I'll show you how to install it on Debian. So I will just switch machines here. And this here is Peppermint. Let's see. If you go to internet and you see that the ICE application, you know, of course, comes pre-installed, and for some other, sorry, I made one for Discover earlier, and I just clicked on it. So. And for some reason, it did not want to find the icon, but it wanted to find, but it found the icon for Chase and for Capital One. So, anyway, so what, you know, this is really straightforward on how on how to set this up. Uh, you name the application, you enter the web address, you pick where in the menu you want you want it to be, and you can set a favorite a fav icon or or you can select an icon that you already have. 
So this, if you look into that, let's say we're going to make one for Chase here. And HTTPS colon slash www.chase.com. And isolate it even though Firefox does it anyway. We'll hit apply. Then go into here. And now we can do Chase. We'll click that. And my internet's being kind of, sort of, okay today, but it's a little slow. So anyway, you see, it's pretty much, it's just the website, but all of the borders and all, and all that mess has been stripped away, and you get just the content. And, you know, you can still move forward and back in the page, but not in the browser, you know, borders or whatever. And... This has been a, a really nice thing for me because I've set this up you know, on my system for Plex, Twitter, Mastodon, MeWe, uh, my bank, and my credit cards. And I use it all the time. It has been a really nice addition to, to my system. It has been it's great. It's, it's been great. I want to show how to install this on Debian now. So let me swap scenes. We're in my Debian virtual machine now. It's running the XFCE desktop. I actually installed Cinnamon first, but for some reason, I could get it to install with Cinnamon, but I could not get the icons and, well, the sites or whatever to show up in the menus. Uh, I haven't really dug into it a whole lot, but just kind of be aware of that. Uh, but if you're running XFCE like me, flawless I mean I've already got it installed here but I just kind of wanted to show what you uh, what you do to install it now so I'm going to swap over to my browser and I will show you how that's done uh, this is over on my github page uh, github.com slash Linux dabbler slash Debian install scripts and my script that I read or I wrote here is for installing the ice application of course i had a permission problem in downloading it to that specific folder because i think the way i had it done i downloaded it with root and then i swapped this then i changed everything over and i did not give my standard user pseudo permissions before running this so if you run things in order it's not it's not a problem if someone downloads my scripts, they may not run them in order. So I, to alleviate that permission problem, uh, I just added sudo here. So sudo it runs wget command to download the ice 6.0.5 dev package and then installs with dp, dpkg-i. And I did ice uh, and a little wild card here just because if... I update this to a new version I only have to update it in one spot so this is and that that runs really well so I'm just going to rerun the script so we're going to change directories into Debian install scripts I've only got three of all these scripts executable so to make it executable if you if you don't know I'll show you real quick is you'll do sudo chmod or change mode plus x and let's say you want to do I don't know let's say 110 just as an example type in the password and there you go but if you don't have your standard user in the in the sudo or file you have to do that as root which is why my first script up here is run, at, you know, I named it run as root grant standard user sudo. So now we can do, and this is actually an older version. I updated it once I found the, the issue. I updated it on my GitHub page, but I have not updated it on here yet. So that's why I'm running sudo dot slash. And it went ahead and installed everything. So, go to ICE, 
and let's see we can, and let's do the same one so let's call it chase put it in the internet folder and we have it running on Debian now this has been fantastic I have really enjoyed this so that was pretty simple uh, it was just a simple wget command and dpkg-i and you can you can get the one of the main features in my opinion from peppermint working on Debian so I've been really really pleased with this I use it all the time and if you'd uh, like to download my scripts, uh, I'll, I'll have those linked below to my GitHub page. Or if you want just the uh, just the dev package, I'll have that linked as well. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a nice evening. Like, share, and subscribe.